Oh yeah, baby, we just sold the car. Yes, I love this. This is not something that I even fathom doing. So did you notice what Grant drove today? Yeah. What? An Audi. Yeah, not his little ridge line. So I was like, that's kind of weird, but you know, we got multiple cars we can drive every day and and uh, kind of thought that was weird, but he just came to me and says he wants to buy a car. And uh, I'm not sure if I want to sell it to him. I am a huge poster child to this, but when you end the car business, the worst thing that can happen is you decide you want to buy a car because you've seen it on the lot or you just traded for it or anything like that. Yeah, a Camaro, a truck, a another truck. <laughs> uh, there's so many cars you've bought. Oh, Tesla, you bought a motorcycle. Oh, multiple motorcycles, right? So without telling me. Yeah, the, the last motorcycle was definitely was something I traded for. So we have a bad habit of buying cars that we trade for or that comes in from the factory. So here's Grant's wife's car, little Audi A3. These are such fun cars. I really like these cars and I love this gray interior. And I do know for a fact that Grant bought this vehicle from uh, the corporation Aldi, the Aldi grocery stores, right? He's got a really good relationship with them and they have a lot of these cars and they miraculously maintain them. So this thing is really sweet. I'm not exactly sure why he wants to trade this thing in because it's a really nice car, but we're gonna go find out. Grant's back, he's been test driving the RAV4. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what he thinks about it. You checking her out there, buddy? Yes, sir. You Just like it? Touching the buttons and feeling and all that good stuff. Come again. So why do you want to buy this thing? Because my wife keeps stealing my truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So your wife steals your truck and you're going to buy a vehicle today. So she stops right. stealing. Okay. My son plays hockey and getting his hockey equipment into that uh, car is uh a task and so this vehicle will work out perfect so i've got your number all done on the rav4 and i know you said you wrote a number down correct yeah yep. so let's go find out and see how close we are perfect he's just checking that thing out he's just he's looking at it he just rolled all the windows down rolled them back up. I mean, he's going through it like a fine tooth comb. So we got Grant's vehicle appraised. These are all of his numbers here. So I'm gonna go give them to him outside in private and uh, we'll see if he wants to buy it or not. But you know, the funny thing is, is that over 23 years in the car business, people have like new salespeople have bought cars from the dealerships they start at in a relatively quick fashion. So it's, that just tells us that he's buying into what we're doing, right? Exactly. Yes or no, you buying it? I love it. All right, we got a sale. So there's your numbers. So you wrote a number down. Yes. So we'll see how close we are. Uh, pretty daggone close. Yes, Mrs. Chevy, dude. We're that's here. all. We're that's all you. you. There's my number. Okay. We're five hundred dollars apart. I cheated. I already looked. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, ethically, I called the number first, uh -huh. saved it in Viato, and then went over and lied. So did he? He said he's writing a number down. Let's go over here and see if he found if he wrote it down there or he put uh -huh. it in his phone. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I can pull a video surveillance camera to show you that it's ethical. It's awesome. <laughs> I'll do your number. You will? Yeah, I'll do your number. All right, well, let's do it. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby, we just sold the car. Yes, I love this. This is not something that I even fathom doing. So I was telling them off camera, typically, car salesmen do buy cars from dealers relatively soon after they get hired. Yeah. And that's kind of interesting. That never crossed my mind, right? Because uh -huh. I think you're a little bit different than a car salesman, Thanks. you know? So <laughs> it just means that you like the way we do business. You're buying into our proce processes and Absolutely. philosophies and just taking care of people. And yep. you've certainly done your due diligence looking over that car. I have. But you know what this means, right? What does it mean? You've cost yourself a sale. So really? Carvana was 13,000. Yeah. No, excuse me, CarMax was 13,000. And Carvana was eleven thousand eighty-five dollars. Wow! So, and it just shows you that you know we're out here trying to buy cars, and I tell people all the time that we'll match or beat Carvana and CarMax, and they're the big dogs. And how does a little store like ours compete with a big dog like that? And we called it before seeing his number, and we we're really close to your number, right? Yes, we're, sir. we're really close, so. We called it and yeah. we did better than CarMax and Carvana, yeah. plain and simple. So here I am car salesman with a huge following, right? We got this 2013 Tesla Model S that I wanted to get full retail out of, right? I think I could sell this thing for full retail. We were buying the 2020 Model X and I had it listed and I was just dealing with jacks all over the damn place on Facebook Marketplace and I got tired of it. I was like, I'm tired of dealing with it and I sold our Tesla 
to Bachman Chevrolet as a salesman, as an employee, because I was just tired of dealing with the jacks. And uh, I eventually did sell that, but it's so much easier as a car salesman even not to sell it on Marketplace. It's it just really weird. So, so we did the same thing and I sold our Tesla um, as an inventory unit to it and it just made it so much simpler. And I saw the type well, of profit we made. We made like $4,500 on that Tesla, right? So you, the Bachman Chevrolet for the did. Car and we you we know, got tax got credit and money for the car. Yeah, you know, yep. so much better to sell it on a lot than it is on yourself. Plain and simple. Are you going to sign? We need you to sign. Okay. So, so uh, who's going to sign the wall? You or the wife? I think I will. Oh, look yeah, at that. I was going to ask if you're even letting him he's sign a, the wall. He's technically a customer. <laughs> yeah, he's he's buying a car. I haven't even signed the wall. I'm gonna, you I'm haven't gonna, bought a car? I'm going to buy a car before him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's official. You'll forever go down in history as the very first employee of the company and the very first employee of the company to buy a car. Sweet. So okay. now you get to do the famous sign the wall. <laughs> Here's the marker. the marker. You know how to do this? There's the marker. So you know the rules. Yes, Your sir. name, today's date, the vehicle you bought, anywhere you want to write. And anything else. Boom, look at that autograph, quick. Now I'm so excited about my car, <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. Today is 9-8, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, 9-8. All right. This will tell the people on YouTube how far we are behind on the uh -huh. producing videos and make them go live. Oh, s***. <laughs> oh. What'd you do? I added another- Oh, a 918? <laughs> what is that? All right, all right, all right. You are excited. See? Grant, he's the official first cross out and have to redo it all over of messing up the date. All right, Mr. Chevy, we need you to take a picture. Yeah. All right, so it's all good to go. So does your wife know you're buying this? Uh, sh yeah. Yeah, okay. My yeah. wife never knows that I'm buying cars. So yeah. That's why I just, you know, I- Yeah, I get the phone call afterwards. Hey, I bought a car today. Did it with Camaro, did it with- didn't you didn't even know I bought the C7. You had no idea until I told you to sit in it. It's what you think. Whatever. Don't... I saw it in the system. <laughs> no, you did not. What system? Your e-lead system at the time. What? Don't lie. Don't lie. You're trying to look all so smart on camera. No. Don't even try it. And there we have it. We have officially sold our first employee there, a car. That's This is like a milestone that I never thought of or fathom or anything like I that. I just think we need to hire more employees we, and sell more cars. We need way. to hire more employees that uh, can pay for a car because Frank has been here for a long time and never bought a car from us. Frank is worthless. Don't you? Ah, my finger. It's, a, it's really a true honor. And you know, you saw him kind of looking around the car and he was like, what did Rich have to do to it? Um, we didn't have to do anything to that car. So it's super honor to help him and his wife out. And uh, now he gets to uh, sell his trade-in. And at the end of September, we're gone for a week. So he's got to run this store all by himself. So it's good to know that he can call the car correctly and stuff like that. So, and uh, uh, generally speaking, I don't move on trade-ins. My money value is there, but for an employee, that's where you give a little bit and just take care of the people who take care of you. And this is just the first step of showing respect back to Grant, even before he gets a paycheck. He's never been paid yet here. So he's paying us to work here. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. He's paying us.